Hey guys, Angelus here. So for my entry I wanted to make something from absolute scrap materials. So I thought good old paper would be a nice option. For that reason, I started to search for some kind of origami that could be used as a water wheel, and luckily I found it. It's an easy wheel made by interlocking the same piece until you complete the circle. For the generation part, I chose a nice taper motor I scavenged from an old printer a while ago. So I made a paper wheel of a size I thought could provide the torque required by the motor to light the LED. I stuffed a bunch of cardboard inside and painted it with some PVA glue to make it waterproof. Sadly, it was too small to move the motor, so I decided to make a large one, but with more indentations so it could move better. After testing a bunch of options, I finally came across a thinner variation of the same wheel and with more indentations. If you'd like to see what modifications I did, just ask me in the comments and I'll upload a tutorial in my channel. So here's the large wheel I made with some flyers I had lying around. Just as before, I stuffed cardboard inside and coated it with some PVA. And here's when real problems arose. A wheel of this size required an even larger base. So I decided to stick with the origami theme. I made 80 of these boxes, which are like paper Legos and created a structure to support the wheel. As you may guess, each box required cardboard inside too. Though in this time, for the waterproofing, I decided to use some PET films they use to wrap luggage in the airport. For some reason, I have one roll of those here at, at home. As you can see, I used a bridge rectifier and a capacitor between the motor and the LED. It was pretty challenging to find the right combination of torque, speed and volts generated. The first time it failed. It didn't rotate as fast as the LED required. I got only one volt by moving the wheel by hand. I tried to make a jewel tip with some scrap components I had lying around, but I couldn't get that to work either. So I used my last option that was making a pulley to increase the speed of the motor. Well, it worked so well that I blew the LED just by moving the wheel by hand. It was around 10 volts easily. So the last step was to encase the circuit in a waterproof shield and test it. It worked like a charm, although the amount of water required to move the wheel wasn't small. And that's it. I hope you liked my project. I'll answer any questions you have in the comments below. Cheers from Venezuela.